So let's see how to create this beautiful cladding profile in ARCHICAD. And for that, we will use this reference image, which is simply attached in the description below. So follow the link and you should be able to download this image from which we are going to develop the profile. I'm going to bring it all the way up to here. So if we do study it, we can see we have a 10 meter high profile and the panel is about 2.4 so because this is an image it is not to scale and this although is supposed to be 10 meters it's not actually 10 meters because if i try to measure it it's way above the 10 meters so we want to scale this down by pressing ctrl k in order to scale and we will say okay to this thing here and then we, we click on the first point and the final point here and put in the new dimension which is 2380 according to this image and now this should be the scale that it's supposed to be and again because this is an image we need to turn this thing into lines and the easiest way we can do that is to draw over so let's go ahead and pick lines here i'm going to pick a polyline and make it here a color that you can quickly see and we will go ahead and put in this first panel remember and the di dimensions are there so we have 2380 by 5350 so that's the first panel and the next panel by 4750 now in order to distinguish between the two i am going to have to put some space in between so small 50 millimeter gap gap will do for me now we want to go through the heinous task of tracing out these circles and uh, to do that you just pick a circle under the document tab here in archicad and we want to go ahead and look for the center and try to draw this thing and make sure to position it correctly go in and create all the sizes of these circles so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you such that you do not watch me do a million circles <laughs> before you. And that is the very first set of panel. And if I move it across here you can see that that would be beautifully looking like that and let's go ahead and do for this other second panel following the same patterns and doing simply the work some of these circles are the same size so you you can duplicate and always resize accordingly to get the circle to the right dimension and uh, that right there is the second kind of panel just this one more and if we get rid of this to this one here i think i'm pretty happy and this is gonna look awesome you want to pick a slab a simple slab so under design i'm going to go pick a slab and uh, let's go in the settings and keep it simple and we're going to make it how thick should the panel be Mine should be a little thick because it's too tall. It needs to have some muscle with it. So 100 will work for me. 
and as well we need to make the material which is going to be made of i think steel is perfect for it and choose the color that you want it to look like and in my case it's going to be just white so we're going to pick a glossy white and then i would say okay and that is what i'm going to space click in here and that has been captured to remove these areas here which are supposed to be holes you have to click on subtract and you should be able to subtract that one space click just click on the edge select subtract from polygon from the dead palette right here and hold down the space bar in order to do this now this is going to take a little bit of time because uh the circles are different red eye and a lot of stuff like that but one by one you should be able to get through with this very panel and i think i'm happy with that and picking the same slab by alt clicking and space click with the second panel we should be able to begin the second the process for the second panel which is quite simply put uh, click on the edge and space click onto the elements in order to be able to remove those sections which are supposed to be subtract from the polygon here we are in order to create the panels now what we want to do is to select these two panels that we have just created and save them as curtain wall panels and you will do that by going to file library as an object save selection as and then choose curtain wall panel if you can see that again it's file library as an object save selection as curtain wall panel and once you're here you want to save this as i'm going to put in here circular design cladding and i would say save and that is going to be put in the appropriate design if you can see that this is going to be available in dialog boxes of relevant objects that recognize it so when i say okay now that has been saved as a curtain wall pan and in order to be able to place it i'm going to place it starting from the very first floor so when i go to the first floor i'm going to go pick that curtain wall which is this icon here and in the settings of the curtain wall i want to go all the way up here and my curtain wall is going to be 10 meters remember because that is the height which we chose for the curtain walls let's start it from zero this is the distance from the area we're going to be placing it we can always change it later now when we go here in the scheme we want to be able to to delete everything here and just you know make another panel here which we are going to call distinct panel because we have created our own new distinct panel and this is important you want to go in here and in this place where it's supposed to be mullion you want to change this to division because currently it's merged so you want to change this other merged area here into division such that we have this as a single scheme and it is repeated all around now that once we are happy with that we want to make sure that we are put the correct dimensions so a is um i do remember well it's 2380 or something like that and this was 10 meters high and we can always come back and cross check oh it's the other way around so i'm going to copy this and put it in here and put the two three the two three okay 80 now this is more like what it's supposed to be and let's go here because we do not have modions there we don't have to worry about modions and transoms all we have to do is to get rid of these boundary boundary ones so invisible and the corner ones as well we want to make them invisible 
and that will be it and in order to put in the custom pattern panel that we created under distinct panel we want to choose to the custom profile so now that we created that uh, once it is being selected you can see under custom wall panel settings we have circular cladding here design cladding but if you did not see it this is where you add it from and we say okay now we should be able to go in and draw this stuff i think it should start from somewhere here and hold down shift in order to draw out the profile in the same exact place that you wish to do that and you can see that it's being created on top of our curtain wall which was there before so we can um, change the value of the distance in the settings under custom wall curtain wall system we want to increase this value i'm going to make it 350 instead of the 250 that's that we have some breathing space for our actual curtain wall yeah and you can take it a little further depending on what looks good for you i think that will do for me and let's see what that looks like uh when we go to 3d there we are we have some weird stuff going on and in order to fix it because currently it's uh being read as just one panel in order to fix it we want to go under scheme change here from number of divisions to fixed size and change this one as well to fixed sizes such that the number that we place in will be fixed against the whole panel so like we said here it's 10 meters on the number one and then here it's 2380 yeah and something like that and this should get it fixed just make sure that the division here the mullion is an on division and as well up here the mullion is on division the transom up there also is on division and when we say okay that should get that problem fixed and it's looking good isn't it and in order to emphasize it we can just slap in a graphic override of uh, something like simple plan to just have a pronounced pattern here and that is awesome so that's been it Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.